what I've what I've read on Mike's book talk. I've continued my devotionals. I'm learning more. So it's um, let me pull it up. It's the Bible chronologically. So you actually understand the order of the Bible, how it starts from Adam and Eve to Revelation. Okay, so it reads what more do you like mean a story chronologically. So because is the Bible not chronological? No. no. Okay, so how is the Bible not chronological? So if I read from Genesis to Revelations, I'm not reading the Bible in order? Not entirely. So you have, so for example, um, Noah had this timeline, but then you have other people. So Noah's timeline, Noah's the reset. So we have Adam and Eve to Noah. Adam and Eve were created. Then we have Noah, the next reset, essentially, of the earth. You understand that one? Yes. So from there on, now we have all these different timelines in a way that are going on at the same time. This person lived this long. Abraham, for example. Moses lived this long. Job lived this long. So all these people lived in um, the same timeline of someone else that you start understanding and start grasping more in the story-wise. So the book is the one-year chronological Bible. And it's 72 hours. If you read it faster, it's 40 hours, but it's it's pretty good because it gave me more of an understanding. Like during this timeline, because Moses and them were after Joseph and the coat of many colors. Okay. Which to me, I I never even... I didn't know that that was a thing. Because Joseph then brought all his family over to Egypt and Joseph's in charge of all of Egypt eventually. And then pretty much 80, 90, 100 years later, now his family's in slavery because the Jewish population, the Hebrew population has become so big. Right. So, I mean, this really reads more like a book, a story. It's the same book that we have, the 66 book of the Bible, but it puts it more chronologically that we understand. So we go from Joseph understanding how he was in charge of all of Pharaoh's stuff. Pharaoh was like, Everything I give you prospers. Mm -hmm. And this is historical too. It's not just biblical. It's like everything I've given you, you've made better. Yeah. So we go from that to Moses. It was like, okay, well, we just jumped about 150 years from Joseph to Moses. But to me, I was like, I thought Joseph was after Moses because the way the Bible reads. And it's what happens in between. Do we have any details in between? It talks about context and stuff that's stated in there. So, and it's it's all in the Bible. It's just when you read it from Genesis to Revelation, it it doesn't make the same sense to me, at least chronologically. Yeah, because when I read a when I read a book, I expect A to Z, and that's what I'm expecting. And when you read the Bible, it's time of written is when it starts being put out. Genesis was the first book written. Revelation was the last. So you start going through that, from my understanding, I could be wrong. Someone can comment if I'm wrong. But that's that's where it goes. But we have this understanding now. It's like, ooh, I didn't understand this. I wasn't aware of the chronological order in the same way. Yeah. But that that's where I'm at. That's pretty fascinating, actually, right? Because I didn't realize that that was not necessarily chronological. Um, I just it kind of accepted that it was. Same. And I never thought about it. Life started earlier this year with her group, and I was like, okay, you started bringing up some points. I'm like, I'm not too familiar on the timeline. Familiar. Screw it. You know what? audiobook boom and i'm just pushing through trying to build my own knowledge but yeah that's where i'm at book wise 